be smart, you know, my people. When you hear and self, you self, you go wonder. You know, some more election worry, not be, not be Peter or be friend, no. Uh -huh. In case you don't know, uh -huh. they blast everybody, anybody, nobody be friend. But the recent thing where we our brother, Lai Muhammad, they do the shock. You guys say, we say shit. <laughs> What's it happen? What's it happen? What's it an hour to you? Why you they do what you they do so? Why? Now, the question when he ask our brother, Lion Muhammad, because Naim be federal government, you know, when Lion Muhammad speak, they say, federal government have said, do you get me? The appointees that were not uh, voted for by the people. You feel me now? Uh -huh. Lion Muhammad say where the, the accused Peter will be with treasonable felony, say where say they go arrest Peter will be. So he's looking for legal grounds so that they go, oh, Peter will be for hostage, for hostage. But guess what? Now our brother Shawore asks, why Lai Muhammad harassing, fighting Peter Obi with treasoning claim? Why? Elections have come and gone, but the matter still remain. What did they happen? What did Peter Obi do where we don't know? Eh? Anyway, my people, now so the matter, they hit us. So please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Why Lai Muhammad is harassing Fighting Peter Obi with treasoning claim. Moeli Showare, the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, Moeli Showare, has accused the Minister of Information and Culture, Halaji Laye Mohamed, of harassing and fighting the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Obi. Showare said Mohamed was fighting Peter Obi because he's a whip with zero ability to fight a revolution structure is unequipped to fight the revolution ability to fight a revolutionary structure he spoke while reacting to mohammed's claim of peter will be committing treasoning Mohammed has said it was treasoning for Peter Obi to incite people to violence following the outcome of the presidential election. However, Omoye Elishuore said Mohammed's allegations were hostile and forcey, taking too far. I mean, what has Peter Obi done that you are putting yourself in as though he has done something unspeakable? In a series of tweets, Shuore wrote, I am clear about this issue, even though I strongly continue to state that Twitter will be and his Labour Party are not different from APC. I am clear. There is no reason why APC should go after Peter will be. What has he done? However, shameless lying Mohammed claim that protected speech and unlawful protest against faulted election mounted to treasoning is <laughs> he's this treason family they are harassing peter obi and his vice presidential candidate but ba ba dante baba hamed with these tactics because they know they are weak with zero ability to fight a revolutionary structure and because they have seen they have been they have been partners in crime since 1999 so this is what is happening, my lovely, wonderful people. Omoye Leshoware does not understand. He's trying to understand why APC is going after Peter Obi. Like, seriously, what exactly has Peter Obi done? You know, that, you know, uh, it's as if he did something that can never, you know, all he, he, he had a conversation like every other person will have a conversation. And in that conversation, he said, this is wrong, very wrong, you know, that in, in that conversation, all he said was Bishop Yedipo should help him, you know, uh, talk to people, you know, to vote for him. That was all he said. And he said because, and again, the, if you listen to that tape, according to Labour Party, it's been docked tape, yes, that the conversation and the true meaning of what Peter B was trying to convey has been shortened to what they want people to hear. But according to what we heard Labour Party said was that the Muslim Muslim ticket thing, you know, was was a war against Nigeria, against religion, against, you know, an et multi-ethnic society. 
Yes. So, uh, however, we heard that um, that has been, you know, people have tried to do things that are not right in order for them to be able to gain some leverage and to accuse, you know, some people of doing things that are not convenient. So these are some of the issues and matters ongoing uh, that we should all really pay great and serious attention to. So in case you are not aware, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be shocked to find out you know, some of the issues that are going on. Lai Mohammed went abroad and said, oh, and the reason why things are the way they are and the reason why we have not done what we did, oh, the reason why this and that is because uh, uh, Einek noticed that uh, my dear is all the same cook and both stories, okay, really going nowhere. Lai Mohammed, you know, is being used, like, you know, as it is to say, you know what, Peter B has done what should not be do done. And so he, sh yeah, what, bottom line, they're looking for a way to put Peter B in prison, in case you're not aware. You know, but by the time he's in prison, will he come and fight? Will he come and say, presidential election was not done well? The answer is no. Now who free, now they fight, Abi. And so they won't incarcerate her, bottom line. So they are looking for every avenue, way humanly speaking possible. By the way, in case you are not aware, all Peter Obi's conversation in the last couple of years has been monitored. All Peter Obi's conversation has been reviewed, rather. And even presently, his conversations are being monitored. Okay, his conversations are being monitored because the powers that be are the ones in position. And if you know Minister of Digital Economy, Pantami is one of them. He's an APC guy. So what do you expect? So the, 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 the matter is seriously on and we are looking and waiting seriously to see how, you know, things will play out as we begin to, you know, examine and understand some of these issues currently ongoing. So my wonderful people, you can see that, you know, the issues that have been on for some time now continues to, you know, continues to gravitate towards us having, you know, having the right the right attitude, the right perspective in order to take our nation from there to here, okay? From here to here, we need to move the nation. We can't continue with business as usual and expect, okay, a different result. We must at some, at a, at some point say, you know what, enough is enough. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day from us is bye for now. Remember, you have a voice. Bye-bye.